Traditionally, for Korean cars, the paintwork is soft and poorly resistant to mechanical damage. Stretches and chips appear even from slight contact of the car body with branches. The corrosion resistance of body iron is at a fairly high level, but there are still a couple of weak points here. The rear drain requires special attention. Over time, bugs appear on it. In the early stages, to remove the saffron mill caps, it is enough to wipe the problem area with a special solution of gasoline. If you start it, you will have to repaint it. Also, a rusty coating on the surface of the paint can be seen on the doors. Rust crawls out from under the moldings and door handles. If you follow the body and eliminate the bugs in a timely manner, there will be no serious problems with the body. I have not seen any complaints that the metal has rotted the holes. The chrome on the radiator grill does not indulge in its durability either. It begins to peel off after 3-5 years of car operation. Also, chrome decorative door glass trims may begin to peel off. Over time, when driving on uneven roads, an unpleasant crack from the windshield lining appears. Temporarily, get rid of the annoyance quick helps treatment with silicone grease and car wash. To permanently fix the problem, the pad must be put on double-sided tape or sealant. The lock of the rear doors also received a lot of criticism, at the most opportune moment they can stop opening. The front optics on restyled copies of the Kia Magentis 2 are prone to fogging in wet weather and temperature changes. The protective plastic of the front optics is covered with a fine mesh over time. The rear number rattle when the trunk lid is closed, pasting the frame with vibroplast and splenitis helps to solve the problem. In cars equipped with heater wipers, in the cold season the windshield often cracks due to temperature changes. The rubber bands of the original vipers become very hard and frost. Therefore, when replacing it, it is better to give preference to an analog. 188, 193 horsepower and diesel CRDI 2.0, 140 and 150 horsepower. All power units are sharpened to Euro 4 standards and are sensitive to the quality of fuel and lubricants. If, for example, gasoline engines are fed with bad gasoline, the check engine error will pop up on the instrumental panel, and the life of the catalyst will significantly decrease. There are three of them in the 2.7 engine. In diesel engines, the exhaust system begins to smoke strongly, and early replacement on the particular filter may also be required. The Koreans, knowing what quality of fuel our gas station offer, have released a new firmware for the engine control unit, which reconfigures the engine to Euro 3 standards. This problem is relevant for cars manufactured after 2008. The CVVT system, which was equipped with the gas line engines, is demanding on oil quality. With untimely maintenance of the power unit, oil change every 8-10,000 km, the process of cocking of the valve of this system is accelerated. The increased noise knock, of the engine at idle will tell about the presence of problems with the valve. If you can notice the problem at an early stage, flushing will be enough to eliminate it. In advanced cases, you have to change the valve. The disadvantages of gasoline engines include leaks in the gasket of the oil pan and front cover. In addition, for overly active drives closer to 150,000 km, the front crankshaft oil seal may leak. If oil leaks are not corrected in a timely manner, this can lead to failure of the attachment pulley with a rubber damper clutch. Due to the fact that the 2.0 motor does not have hydraulic lifters, many servicemen recommend adjusting valve clearance every 80-100,000 km, crankshaft and camshaft sensors, as well as oxygen sensors, there are two of them, can start to move at a range of 100-120,000 km. At idle engines can dislice until a certain warm-up, the official dealer does not recognize this as a malfunction, calling this behavior of the engine its feature. The power unit of the G4KD4B11 brand emits a cheering during operation, thereby making the owners nervous. But there is no reason to worry, since this is a feature of the nozzles. If vibrations appear at speed from 1000 to 1300, most likely it's time to change the candles. The service life of catalyst is 120-150,000 km. If it is not replaced in a timely manner, when it is destroyed, its particles will fall into the cylinder. Because of this, scorn will form there. There are no specific statistics on the shortcomings of diesel engines. 
The only thing that can be stated with certainty is this in our realities, after 100,000 kilometers of run, they will have problems with fuel equipment. A particular filter, when removed, a replacement of the ECU firmware is required, and a valve EGR. The elimination of any of these problems will result in a tidy sum. One of two types of gearboxes was installed on the Kia Magentis 2, a 5-speed manual and a 4-speed Tiptronic automatic, which after restyling was replaced by a 5-speed automatic transmission. Operating experience has shown that all gearboxes are reliable and with timely maintenance, oil change in manual transmission every 60,000 km, in automatic transmission every 90,000 km, do not cause unnecessary trouble. The clutch in mechanics can last up to 150,000 km. In diesel version, once every 100-120,000 km, a dual mass flywheel needs to be replaced. Symptoms – a characteristic knock appear during clutch engagement. Shifting manual transmission gears on some instances is accompanied by a noisy clatter. The problem is not cured. The speed of the automatic transmission as a whole is not high. When shifting gears, slight jerks are felt, but there are no serious complaints about the operation of the transmission. The key to the longevity of automatic transmission is a power driving ride, especially in cold winter, and timely maintenance. Kia Magentis, like most business sedans, has a knockdown chassis and has a good energy intensity. A two-lever McPherson-type design is used in front, a multi-link in the back, and anti-roll bars are installed on the boss axles. The suspension is strong, but it is characterized by increased noise, most often the cause of knocks in the suspensions in the answers of the shock absorbers, in winter they freeze and slip out of the mounts. Also, while driving on small bumps and under heavy load, shock absorbers can tap. After a slight warm-up, the knock disappears. In 2010, the part was upgraded and the problem became less common. There is a more serious drawback. Over time, the breakup bolts of the rear suspension arms turn sour, which is why it is no longer possible to set the wheel angels. To avoid problems, the bolts must be periodically lubricated. But the resource of the original suspension elements cannot be rejoiced. Stabilizer struts nursed 40-50,000 km, bushings up to 80,000 km, silent blocks of front suspension arms serve 100-150,000 km, wheel bearings and shock absorbers run about the same. Ball bearings nurse up to 200,000 km. In the rear suspension, the ball upper wishbones are the first to queue up. This happens on a run of 100-130,000 km. The remaining elements go 150-200,000 km. The steering rack is equipped with a hydraulic booster. In most cases, problems with it begin after 100,000 km of run. The bushing breaks, the rack is repairable. Steering tips on average go 100-120,000 km. Thrust up to 150,000 km. The brakes are reliable but require periodic maintenance, it is recommended to lubricate the caliper guides. If you do not use the handbrake for a long time, the cable becomes rusty and sour. Because of this, it has to be changed. View, but the sound insulation was frankly disappointing, especially the arches and the bottom. The noise of the wheel is heard, especially when driving on the paving stones and in the rain. The problem is solved only by installing additional sound insulation. Also, the disadvantages include insufficiently high-quality leather on the steering wheel braid and gear knob. It is quickly overriding. As for electrical equipment, the dampers of the ventilation system require special attention here. They often fail. The air conditioner has the feature of automatically turning on when the windshield heating mode is selected. There may be other problems with the interior electrics, so it is better to check the performance of all equipment before buying. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when chosen a car.